running my second load for Whitestone's Logistics, switching all my other account info, got my 2290 done, I uh, got a lot of road video for you through the Danger Zone in Colorado, a rainbow, a sunset, and more on this episode of The Clutch Trucker Channel. Clutch Trucker filmed before a live and furry studio audience that is Rusty, the world famous meatball dog. Hey YouTube, Clutch Trucker here. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of the Clutch Trucker channel. Alright, here we are on I-25 northbound in Colorado. Just about to enter the danger zone. Highway to the danger zone. Anyway, yeah, this is where tons of construction going on up here on northbound I-25. It's a complete cluster buck. And uh, they've been working on this for years. They will continue to work on this for years. Colorado is always about 30 years behind the times. This should have been at least three lanes on this section I'm on right now, years ago. And for those of you who say, well, why are you picking on Colorado? I grew up here, so I can pick on Colorado. I think I have the right. That's why I live in Wyoming now. Anyway, uh, picked up my uh, second load now for Whitestone's Logistics. Uh, load of paint. This is not a hazmat paint load. It's just a regular payload going to four Home Depots in uh, Wyoming. And well, one in Scotts Bluff, Nebraska, then Casper, Sheridan, and Gillette, Wyoming. So, we're off. Uh, it only took him, well, I got there, the appointment was 12.30 to 1.30, got there at 12.15. They had me out of there by 12, by 2.30. So, still having to get used to doing my logs on Eastern Time, which is weird. That's why I keep my clock on my dash here set on Eastern Time, so I can just always look right there as I'm doing my logs. But I uh, got this picked up. There's a chance the Home Depot in Scotts Bluff, Nebraska will take me tonight. We should see about that. It would be nice if they did, because then I can make it up to the Hat 6 truck stop there in Evansville, Wyoming, right next to Casper. So, you know, it makes things a little easier. For those of you who have commented, and I, I did answer it in the comments, what's that beep you hear every now and then? I just hit it again. That's me saving the video on the dash cam so I can uh, download it later. Oh, and I do have my little dongle thing. So now I can just take the SD card out of the dash cam and go straight into the phone because it does take somewhere, it depends. If I'm doing three or four two minute videos, it can take up to an hour or more just to download them to the phone through the Wi-Fi. So I decided I'm tired of doing it that way. Let's do it the quicker way. And here come all the brake lights. Right when traffic's merging in, of course. All right, Kia, come on. I'm letting you in. Come on over. Don't be scared. Already been cut off about 10 times today, thanks to all the lousy Colorado drivers. And again, I can harp on them, I used to live here. Colorado drivers are some of the worst, I tell you. But anyway, so, yeah, second load now for uh, White Stones. This one's paying me, if you just go by the loaded miles, well over $3 a mile. If you don't count the deadhead on there, if you count the deadhead on the way down, then it's uh, close to two ninety dollars still a uh, mile. And this isn't even a hazmat load. So, you know, Mark was able to find something that paid decently even though it's not hazmat so it, it just shows if you uh, work hard enough and uh, you know try to hunt down the right load you can find one so yeah I'm actually amazed the traffic isn't much worse than this up here we're gonna hit the Fort Collins way station on the way down this morning they did they had the pre-pass off which I hated when they did that so I had to go through, but I was empty, so they just rolled me across. So that wasn't that bad a deal. And uh, but yeah, this construction zone, you can see what they're doing there. They're completely repaving both sides here. And then they're gonna add those stupid express lanes, which I hate, because we can't be in them. And I've said before, and I'll say it again, this is where cities don't get it. The majority of us truck drivers are driving through. Put us on the express lanes away from everybody else. So we can just go through and do our job. But no, they make us stay out here and they're listening to all the rest of the traffic merging on and off. And 
like Atlanta around their loop because they make us take the loop around. We can't go straight through. Uh, you know, they make us stay in the right two lanes, right where everyone's merging in and out constantly. So, and I, I just got cut off by a guy when I was trying to get on I-25. No, I was on I-25. He was trying to come in, and he, he was behind me on the on-ramp. He should have slowed down and got behind me. But what does he do? What all four-wheelers, not all, a lot of them who usually do because they're impatient, is he comes whipping up in front of me, and then I have to slam on my brakes because he's too impatient. I flip him off, and then he's flipping me off, acting like it's my fault. It is not my job to get out of the way for you to merge in when I'm already on the freeway. It is your job merging in to do it safely. So many people think that's the opposite, and it's not. Anyway. So, here we are in the danger zone on I-25 northbound here in Colorado.
All right, there's the first thing for the uh, way station in Fort Collins. And then when the second one comes up, that's when I'll get the tone to let me know if I have to go in or not. Let's listen. That's green. That means I'm good to go. I can bypass the way station. It's a beautiful thing. Stopped at the house in Cheyenne and the look at this in Nebraska. Isn't that a cool rainbow? Yeah, that was going uh, eastbound on I-80 and saw this great rainbow, so I thought we well, need to save the dash cam for that. What do you think? Then after I delivered in Scotts Bluff, Nebraska, heading into Wyoming here, and look at that great sunset. I thought that looked pretty cool. So I wanted to show you that. Better park it. Alrighty, so here we are parked at the Hat 6 truck stop. Uh, it used to have a Moe's, uh, the Mexican food in there, but apparently they don't anymore. They've still got that bar and grill in there, and um, they've got a Cinnabon and a Schlotzky's, apparently, but that's uh, they lost the Moe's, I guess. And now, what's weird is they have a TA truck service here. It's not a TA truck stop, it's an Ambest truck stop, and yet they have TA truck service. So, obviously TA is figuring out where they're making all their money is off the service, and why build more truck stops when you can just put a service thing in another one that already exists, I guess. Anyway, so yeah, here we are in uh, Evansville, Wyoming, just east of Casper, uh, delivering Casper uh, tomorrow for my second stop. Uh, of course, we made that first one in uh, Wichamujits, the Scotts Bluff, Nebraska. In and out in a half hour. Can't beat that, baby. Yeah, I got there about 7.15 Mountain Time, and I was out of there by 7.45. So, well, that's pretty awesome. So, now I'm just going to pull the tin here, and uh, then I'll roll on over to the uh, Home Depot here in Casper uh, tomorrow morning, and we'll get unloaded. Then i got to head up to Sheridan, and uh, then over to Gillette. It's kind of a crazy little pattern I've had to go. Uh, well, let me show you the map. All right, started in Cheyenne, went down to Denver, back up to Cheyenne, over to Nebraska, up to Scotts Bluff. Now I'm going to over to Casper, that's where I am now, up to Sheridan, back down, and over to Gillette. Now the neat thing was, after I um, picked up and drove uh, up towards, back, I had to come back into Wyoming and then shoot over to Scotts Bluff, that's the fastest way, I was able to do a quick run by the house again, just a quick 15 minute break there, but I, just stopped and uh, took Rusty out, went to the bathroom, I picked up my other um, placard holders and then got back on the road, made it over to Scotts Bluff and was able to deliver there. So, kind of neat. I <laughs> kept going, yeah, my wife's like, yeah, I keep seeing you. I know, it's like, I know, this is so unusual. So, uh, here we are in, um, like I say, Evansville. Do want to shout out to uh, Junior. Oh, again, you keep sending me stuff. He sent me a, um, a bag to hold my folding bike. See, of course, there's the folding bike in front of my passenger seat, you know, my cab commander and everything. So, uh, but I had talked about at one point getting a bag to put it in so that after a ride, if it gets dirty or, you know, we keep less grease off of things and for Rusty when he's crawling through underneath down there. And so Junior sent me a bag. It's down in my side luggage compartment, uh, if you want to call it that outside access though underneath and so I, I don't feel like hopping back out now uh, to get it out but I will show it in a later video when, when I put the, the bike in the bag and then it'll be all protected over there and then it'll keep the the bike and we'll keep the truck cleaner and all that so it's gonna be a beautiful thing baby yeah so and took care of some other things while I was waiting at the shipper today like uh, well my 2290 finally approval came in for the the IRS for the federal government that's a form I filled out last week and submitted last week, but then got rejected by the IRS because I had to get my own personal EIN number, which I hadn't had before. I had years ago when we owned our radio station, but I needed a new one for this. And uh, my when I uh, did that last week, I did that on the same day as getting as submitting my 2290, which is the heavy vehicle use tax, just another tax they throw on us. And uh, but it got approved, so that was cool. I think I mentioned that earlier. And I got that, my wife printed that out, so when I swung by the house again real quick, I was able to pick that up so I can put that in the permit book. I called uh, 
K tag. This is the uh, toll thing for the Kansas Turnpike. And, you know, I run that section of 70 between Kansas City and Topeka a lot. And that's on there. Also, if you run south, uh, down towards uh, Wichita or something from Salina, you got to pay the toll there. Plus, this will work for all the Oklahoma tollways and all the Texas tollways, I, I believe, also. Or maybe the Texas went to the uh, Easy Pass. So I have my own Easy Pass account. I get it from Illinois. This is the I Pass. Now, I don't have the actual Easy Pass, it's I Pass, but it's the same as the Easy Pass works all over the country. The reason I do it from Illinois is because uh, it's free. The box is free from Illinois, and I just set it up on my debit card so it replenishes that way. My Pre Pass I got set up last week. This is for the way stations and all that. Now, Pre Pass will give you a separate box, a bigger one, a white one, that does this and the tolls but they charge you an extra 12 bucks a month for the privilege of taking your tolls from you. So I get the free one from uh, Illinois, and I pay 18 bucks a month for the pre-pass so I can, you know, try to bypass some of the way stations. K-Tag, again, they give you that one for free. You just set your debit card up on it. So I had to make all those calls today and get all these set up with the new plate number, which, of course, I don't have yet, but you have to have that on the account because a lot of them do electronic tolling, and if the box doesn't work, they take the picture of your plate, and uh, like I say, these are my personal accounts. The K-Tag, the I-Pass, and the Pre-Pass, they're all my personal accounts. Uh, Mark at Whitestone, he, he could have provided that if I wanted to go through him, but I already have my own set up, and I've had it that way for years, ever since I worked at Well Companies years ago. I like it that way, uh, and then, uh, like I say, I do it the cheaper way, so it's kind of silly. I have three boxes up in the windshield, uh, kind of up and around behind my GPS. So I've got all these up there for the way stations, tolls, and Kansas tolls. Well, and, you know, Oklahoma too. So, kind of silly, but other crap I had to take care of today. So that's the, a lot of the other little stuff you don't think about when you're switching carriers. You know, uh, not only just changing all the lettering, i got to change all my information on my accounts for all that stuff, but got all that done. I think at this point everything is done. We're just waiting on the actual plates to come in. And I think that's about it, so how about that? So here I am in the midst of my second load for Whitestone's Logistics, uh, parked here in Evansville, and um, then he, we were, we're already on the phone tonight a lot talking about possibilities of what's going to happen next, and, you know, I don't deliver uh, all these until tomorrow afternoon, so we may even wait till Wednesday. We've got some other options we're looking at, but it's great, you know, to get him on the phone and work with him on everything. Uh, Mark's a real good guy, and he's, uh, you know, already proven so far that this is going to be a uh, better uh, opportunity for me and a better money-making opportunity for me and the family. And hopefully I will run as hard, make some more money, keep the truck maintained better, and uh, and bring more home uh, to the to the fams. What do you think? Yeah. Well, thanks for tuning in for that one. Yeah, more crap you got to go through to switch carriers and all that. Got some good road video through the danger zone of Colorado. Uh, yep, that rainbow and uh, sunset. Why not? Let's throw um, all that fun stuff in there, right, Rusty? But so far things are going well, we're enjoying it. And uh, yeah, Junior keeps taking care of us. Well, with you and dog food, me and the bike stuff, I tell you, it's a beautiful thing. So Junior really do appreciate that. Uh, thanks for tuning in. As always, please subscribe, please like and comment. Get to your comments as soon as I can. Sometimes it takes a day or two because I'm a working truck driver. Uh, there's Clutch Trucker at Instagram, Clutch Trucker at Twitter. I've kind of been lax on putting stuff up in there lately. I'm sorry, I'll try to be better. And as always, if that magic YouTube fairy dust, Clutch and Rusty, out. Look, Buck, I'm not trying to push you or anything. It's just I want to hear the pitter-patter of little feet before I die. I'll get you a mouse and a piece of sheet metal. you got to come down here. You can't start up there. Come on. All right, here it is. Look at it. Oh, there it goes. There you go. All right. Grab that begging strip. Grabbing that begging strip. Munch, 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 munch. Don't eat too fast. Remember, you'll start to cough because you are a begging strip dog. You're dropping crumbs all around there, buddy. You got to get them. Finding them? All right. There's one more right down there. Not right here, silly dog. Did you get it? All right, here. Here's one more little one for you. Right here. Rusty, look up. There you go. 
proving why he is the world famous meatball dog after all. Okay, finish it up. There you go. Let's get that happy dog look. Look up here, Rusty. Up here, come on. We need the look, buddy. Your fans are waiting, Rusty. Rusty, you got it. Look up here. Hello, Rusty. I think you got it, buddy. We need the look, buddy. Come on. Rusty. Look up here. Continue to look up here. Come here. Look. 